In Surah Al-Ma'arij, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us something really, really important about ourselves. And this is something every Muslim, when you read in the Quran, you have to stop and you have to pay attention when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us what human beings are like. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in al insana khuliqa halu'a. إِذَا مَسَّهُ الشَّرُّ جَزُوعًا وَإِذَا مَسَّهُ الْخَيْرُ مَنُوعًا He says that people are created, they're made fickle, right? They, you know, they're inconsistent. They swing back and forth, they oscillate between two extremes. Then he explains what exactly he's referring to. If evil touches him, he's just completely, he despairs, right? He gives up, up hope, he's upset. And if good touches him, then he is, he exceeds all bounds, right? He becomes basically like, you know, too big for his britches, we would say, or he gets big headed. And so this is a fundamental aspect of human nature. We're fickle, we're too emotional. Maybe that's a, not the best way to say it. Maybe we can say that, you know, we, um, we live in the moment. We don't have the long view. And so we get easily kind of perturbed and disturbed by what's going on right now. And we lose perspective as to where we're ultimately going and heading up, which is why then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that this is the way illa al right? Except for those who pray. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes on to describe different sorts of righteous actions that pull one out of this short-term perspective of this narrow way of looking at life where you're just moving from laugh to lament, laugh to lament, like in every sort of instant. In order to keep the long view, in order to keep a holistic view, it has to be filled with purpose. And that purpose comes from the belief in the afterlife and the kind of mechanism, the five times a day mechanism that we're given to keep our attachment to that perspective and that long view is the prayer. And so uh, there's no neutral ground, right? A lot of people these days, they think, well, you know, so-and-so is a good person, you know, they don't harm anybody. They're not out killing anybody or, or stealing or things like that. And okay, that person might be nice, but in the context of Islam and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls us to, you know, there's no, there's no standing still on a moving train. You're either getting better or you're getting worse. You're getting better or you're getting worse. And if you're standing still, then you're probably getting worse and not even noticing it. Because as Allah says, we have this nature to be fickle. We have this nature to be short-sighted and to be overwhelmed by what's going on in the moment. And the only way that we can improve and get out of that is through the actions that he describes, subhanahu wa ta'ala, starting with the prayer.